Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome, Jericho. Welcome, Brookie. The usual suspects are in the chat, blowing the chat up as usual. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm doing a couple of adjustments. Trying to turn my mic up a little bit. And the game's down. <laughs> but if you're watching me live right now on my Twitch channel, I want to say hi. How you doing? Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time out to watch me live right now on Twitch. But if you couldn't make it to today's stream and you're watching me back on my YouTube channel, it's a video replay. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. It's never necessary. It's never asked for. I probably wouldn't do it if I was in your shoes either. But maybe if I was drunk enough, I would. If you want to like my video, subscribe to my channel, or even follow me, then I want to take the time right now to say thank you in advance. You mean the world to me, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this stream is proudly sponsored by, supported by, and supplied by today by the amazing... I said a couple of bye, bye, byes there. The amazing people that... Radlicker Games, radlickergames.com. Check them out. Also, the supplier of the code is the wonderful PR Hound. Thank you guys for sending me the code this stream. The game's called Chemically Bounded. Bonded, not bounded. Chemically bound Bonded. I almost did it twice there. Actually, I think I did do it twice. Okay, um, should I tell you about the game before we start? I think I should, eh? Bear with me for a second. I'll bring it up. Normally, I have this stuff already saved in my phone, ready to read to you, all you fellow peoples out there watching me, but for some reason, I turned it off. Okay, can you mend the broken bond of friendships between two girls? Enter the life of an ordinary Japanese high school male as you become entwined, entwined sorry, in the dispute between two neighboring female students. Learn more about their past together as they piece together their relationship and mend their bond, all whilst forming new bonds of their own. You'll be presented with both conventional and unconventional choices which shape the relationship formed with the girls. You can choose to help start the science club or to increase your athletic capabilities, all while growing closer to the girls who holds the key to your heart. As I said, the game features multiple routes and endings, so multiple endings, guys. Um, the gene is a romance drama comedy, romance, uh, also romance B, uh, boy and girl, I should say. Interactive phone system for choices and dates. Five plus outfits and multiple poses for both girls. What's going on there? I don't think this is a lewd game. High quality Magnus style artwork and voice acting. Big, I'm a big voice actor on visual novels. That means I don't have to do much ready. Well, I don't have to do too much ready. Uh, the release date. This game hasn't been released yet. It gets released tomorrow for us Australians, which will be Friday the 13th. October, Friday the 13th, 2023. Single player game. Uh, the Jeans Adventure Visual Novel, romancy style. Publisher, once again, is Radlicker Games. Uh, ooh, let me look. Supported languages are English. Uh, the developer is DS Sands. And this game is available for the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox One, Xbox uh, Series S, and X. So, hey guys, I'm playing on the Xbox Series X. 
Hey, builders, welcome to the stream. Quick question, builders, you're watching me live right now, buddy. Is my mic sound nice and clear? Uh, the music in the background of the game is not too loud. Everything's okay? Don't have to be rude about it, builders. Come in here and start shouting about chemically imbowed. You dirty, dirty bugger. Okay, thank you for the thank you for that, builders. Shut up now. Okay, let's have a look at the config, which is the settings. These are all the same in their um in the visual novels. So let's get out of that. Extras, let's have a look at the extras. What's extras? I said the gallery. We've got nothing because we've never played this game before. We're playing it for the first time today. And there's a library and stuff like that. Encyclopedia. I can't even get out of here. There we go. Start. Okay, so Builder says, shut up, her boobs are thrust forward. Only the cowboy would notice that. They're not big enough for the cowboy, I do believe. Let's start the game, guys. Uh, okay, uh, after this game, after this game, Builders, uh, you're down for some two weeks. Two weeks there. Okay, let's let's get into it. Let's uh, I, once, okay, yes, so I'll, I'll message you when we're ready to play. I'll message you, uh, kind, kind fella, who likes tomato juice and tuna. Sandwiches with coffee and tart. I don't like cheese or egg. Inside joke, guys. Inside joke. If you watch me live right now, there's a guy called the Cowboy. He's a real idiot. <laughs> he doesn't like anything. Doesn't like coffee. Doesn't like cheese. Doesn't like tomato or tuna. Doesn't like consoles, soccer, football, sport. The only thing he does like is Xbox. That's why they call him the Xbox Cowboy. Okay, enough of that. I was just joking around. Okay, so once again, I do apologize if I get the roids wrong in this game. Ah, uh, well, you just got to put up with it because that's how I am. Okay, here we go. This place, what does it mean to me? Am I tired of it? Around me, the motion of time continues in the same rhythmic fashion, day by day. Ah, <laughs> uh, Builder says, she's probably asked Brooke if she meant to type GG, Brooke. I don't think GG's are big enough. I think it's supposed to be mmm. Mm -mm, Brooke. Double M's. One sick puppy. Is it ever going to change? Asking myself, I can only succumb to giving no answers. Of course, the answers are there before my eyes. Those which watch digitally as they pass without notice. Let me have this, he says. This is Builders talking in the chat. If you're watching me live right now, guys, you can see Builders is blowing up the chat. Uh, but if you're not watching live and you're watching me on the YouTube channel, all the stupid things I'm saying is just one of the guys in my chat just going off. I should totally ignore him, but he does sub he does subscribe to my channel. In other words, he does feed me money to. Oh, my headset's gone flat. Um, I just got a, I just got a notification. My head's gone. Headset's gone flat. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll let it go. But if you if you stop if it starts getting a, a bit funny, uh, let me know, and I'll change headsets. So let me know, guys, if my headset goes a little bit funny. Let me know, builders. I'm here for an education, right? Part of me feels this might be the answers. Following the same path as everyone around me. Living life, obviously, is to outside world. Uh, but it's still good. Good. I know when the PlayStation headset goes flat, uh, you start crackling, you start breaking up. So I don't know if it's the same thing with the Xbox, where you start losing the connection uh, between your console and, like, you know, because it's Bluetooth or a USB dongle. So I don't know. And I can't tell myself. Being a student, it's not life. It's, it's a life not many would consider special, despite us wanting to believe so. But here, in this place, we define ourselves as individuals, a place where memories are made. We, where we are bonds with the closest to us. Is that, oh, let's wait, let's go back, sorry. Is that what this place means to me? Okay, so the text is quite easy to read. It's, it's, it's quite big on my screen. It's quite bold. And it's just nice and easy to read. Some some visual novels are hard to read. Not all, just some. Uh, one could say that being here is what makes us human. Coming here to the taunt, what it is like to have ambition to find our dreams. I wouldn't consider myself to be one of those people with no clear aspirations. Finding something like that would be nice. Maybe in the end, that's what this place meant to be, meant to me. I just haven't found what I'm looking for. Isn't there a song about that? I just haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, no, it goes. Okay, so... Oh, hold on, what? Press A to write your name. Okay, sorry. I'm not paying attention today. Let's make it all capitals, because I like my name being shouted from the rooftops. Ma, bro. 
Lay. That's N I R B R O L A Y. Why? Why not? There we go. Look at that. My name's in the chalkboard, guys. I am famous. Absolute famous. See, they're writing my names all across uh, school chalkboards. Do they still use chalkboards? Because I know my, my daughter's school, they use a whiteboard. The whiteboards are better because you can wipe it off easy. There's no chalk dust that gets everywhere. And you haven't got that stupid kid wiping his nails or a coat hanger on the board. So um, I, I don't know if they still use chalkboards. Maybe because of the allergies and crap like that for dust and hay fever and stuff, you know. I don't know. Uh, Ruta says, can you just start signing parcels like that? I look, uh, it's, it's written like a 10-year-old, like, like maybe not a 10-year-old, maybe like a 6-year-old, right? See, 6-year-olds around the world are writing my name. That's how famous I'm getting. I'm just kidding, guys. No one knows who I am. Lifting my hand. But, but guys, if you want the world to know who I am, it's me, Marbury. You're going to like my video. Subscribe to my channel and follow me. Not really. You don't need to do that. I'm not forcing you to do that. But if you do do it, it would help me get noticed around the world. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Trust me, it doesn't. Lifting my hand away from the chalkboard, all that's left in my name etched neatly is written on the otherwise blank canvas. It's not neatly at all. I don't like handwriting. <laughs> Being able to start again as a transfer student sounds like more than just a dream. Having the opportunity to make new connections, to make a new impression of myself rather than having to be me. Everyone's had uh, the chance to know over the last three years. So sorry guys, I just got a text. There we go. Having the opportunity to make new connections, to make a new impression of myself rather than having to be me. Everyone's had the chance to know over the last three years. If I would describe it, fun would be the word that would come to mind. It's luck was on my side. Who knows? Maybe I'd meet a shy girl on the way to school under the guidance of fate. Or perhaps I'm just overthinking it. Sometime, something, sorry, something like that seems too clinched. Nevertheless, standing here is in the bliss of a thought, working against what is I was supposed to be doing doesn't make my situation any better. Cleaning duty is something we're all tasked to do at some point, but given the amount of dust and grime laced across this room, I don't feel as it's become before me put much effort into it. The tradition, or more so, the will of learning life skills seems to have died off around here. Maybe this wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if I wasn't the only one here. My name has disappeared from the board. Did you notice that? Did you see? Easy come, easy go, guys. I've been erased that easy. Crying out to the empty room, does this put the writing my name on the board quickly erased by the desire to get out of here as soon as possible? Sorry, guys, someone's just going crazy with the text. I would have finished by now in person, but who of the indigenous idea to skip out actually decided to turn up? It's not as if they didn't know the job requires more than one person. If I knew who they were, I would say said oh sorry, I would have say something something to say, but I'm not the type of person to go out of my way to conflict them, confront them. That and I can't recall who it was anyway. I wipe away the dust set along the edge of the bookshelves. Leaving the stray speckles in Glistin is now setting sun. Sounds of the engaging club activities resonate from throughout the school grounds. All that's left now is to mop the floor and my responsibilities as a janitor can be passed on to the unfortunate classmate tomorrow. Perhaps they'll be quickly enough to have a company. Weaving through the desk scatters across the room. The trip to the supply, uh, supply cupboard is nothing but a short one. Swinging the door open, the scene before me presents a sight of emptiness and remains still clutching the door handle. At this point, giving up doesn't seem like a bad idea, but the part of me still engrossed is getting the job done seems to stay otherwise. I may as well scout for a mop and bucket anywhere elsewhere. Given the apathy of the class uh, has towards cleaning, finding a spare set of another room wouldn't be a bad wager. 
I might make, I make my way out of the classroom under the assumption that the easiest thing to do would be to ask the next class. That is, if they hadn't already finished or given up. Much to my surprise, peering into the room seems to have paid off. Two girls make conversation inside, both brushing away at the relevance of an afternoon lesson still chalked on the board in front. I heard I head to the door. Excuse me, would either of you happen to know where I could find a spare mop and bucket? The question itself isn't one I particularly dream of asking girls my age. Another quick glance towards one another, almost as if they were conferring silently. They both return the gaze to me, then close, close the one response. I'm not sure. There might be one in the science lab, though. Okay, guys, her voice just absolutely scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere, didn't it? I knew it was voiceover, but I But I don't about. think anyone goes to clean there. All right, I'll go check. Thank you. Departing the two girls with a sight bow, I head off into the direction of the science lab. The subject has never been my strongest, far from it. But given that we don't do much practical work, I bet I wasn't the only one here holding a grudge against sitting at the desk just to trace the teacher's notes from the board to book. I arrive at the door to the lab, privy to the sounds of the footsteps sleeping from the faint gap below the door. Unlike regular classrooms, the labs are walled off from the corridors on each floor, giving those inside a sense of privacy. If there's a teacher in there, they would be bound to know where I can get my hands on cleaning supplies I need. What a delight. Opening the door, however, grants me a sight I couldn't say I was expecting. We've got a science girl. Briefly blinded by the rays of sunlight flower, uh, flowering, flowing from the windows across the room, I figure of a girl meditarizes my eyes adjust to the brightness. I drown in the flowing white lab coat. Her eyes intently study the flask and test tube within the grip of her fingers. Her entire self, obvious to my presence as she focuses on what's before her. Resting behind her shoulders, her hair done neatly into a po ponytail, blows softly in the draft of the open wind window. Despite opting for her glasses as opposed to proper goggles, she seems to have some sense of safety at least. Taking a closer look, I continue to stand in the doorway. Without words, her identity makes itself clear to me. I can't pronounce that. Kikyoko Ishikawa, a classmate of mine. <laughs> I don't know her personally, but I'm quite obvious to not know who she is. She's pretty famous around the school, being known for her intelligence. Enough so to top the leaderboards for every test, not just in the school, but every regional. The more I think about it, is the more it makes sense to find her here. It's not a surprise. However, with a sense of fame also comes a certain amount of infamy, given the number of people talking about her. Rumour has it a few months ago she was caught cheating, but as far as I'm aware, there was nothing more than allegations. Nobody had a real way to get confirmation from her, but nobody made the effort anyway. She herself doesn't talk much. Those nerdy types of girls never do. I guess she's probably just shy. Huh? After accidentally pushing the door open, Kikiro's head turns to my direction, having now spotted me, leaving her slightly shocked by my presence. Perhaps standing here dwelling on her was pretty weird. When I could have just spoken up beforehand, now it just feels awkward. She looks like a deer caught in headlights. Speaking up now couldn't hurt. Excuse me, uh, do you know where there's any cleaning supplies in here? She hesitates for a second, leaving her mouth slightly ajar. Only in what I can do attempt to search for words. Soon enough, the she speaks up. equipment? You had me excited for a second, but I think there's some here. I can't see what there is excited about. Rather, I'd be kind of annoyed if someone's interrupted me. She seemed to be focused on whatever it was doing, an experiment of sorts by the looks of it. Okay, she's, she's added to my encyclopedia. And why is that? Nobody cleans her much. No, I meant, what was so exciting? Kika looks at me with a smile that is all too passionate. I thought you were here to join the science club. I'm not quite sure what she expected me to say, but even at the brief conversation, my image of her is reserved. Quiet girl has been completely shattered. 
She appears to radiate enthusiasm. This is a science what class? What did you think it was? Okay, she's got... I think she might have braces because she's talking like with someone... She got something stuck in her mouth, like a little kid would. As far as I'm aware, when I walked into it was a solo girl conducting an experiment alone in her school, not a fully-fledged club. I'm pretty sure she needs at least five members for that. Five. So you start off with one member, then two members, and before the end of the day starts out, guys, or finishes, you have five. Five members to your club. Five mentors, five members. Knowledge. The, the, the fact that she's uh, conducting experiments within a teacher's supervision, though, is more enough to tell me she doesn't take rules very seriously. You don't look very impressed. I can't say that I am. After all, I came here so I could finish cleaning the classroom, not to take samples of extra loyal activities. That's because I came here to get a mop and bucket, not to check on the okay. club. Okay, I'll go get them now. But please, take a seat, at least. To be honest, delaying my eventual return to scrubbing the grime from the classroom floor wouldn't be such a bad idea. I may as well stay for a while and hear her out. Kikyo quickly returns, supplies in hand, along with a gum express crowd on her I've face. I've been trying to get more members, but nobody seems to be interested. It's hard to find people who like science. It's almost as she was trying to make me feel sympathy for her. For a girl I once thought required, even shy, she sure seems to be persistent. The saying, don't judge a book by its cover, comes to mind. After talking to her, though, the image of rumors painted her doesn't seem to be true. That's higher than you are, Allura, people had talked about behind her back. None of it seems believable anymore. She's just a normal high school girl, as far as I can tell. Would you like a drink? The store is having a special, so I bought as many as I could. My bag was denser than Osmium. Okay, Osmium's as the encyclopedia. Her science joke, well, more of a respite, is completely lost on me. Placing a small rucksack on the desk in front, she pulls out a can of soda from the unholy pile stuffed inside. There's no way that could be healthy. This one's a drink for the intellectuals. The chosen ones. I'm not sure whenever I should find that funny, but Kikyo stands before me, moving her gaze to meet mine. I'm not going to drink them all. I just bought them in case anyone came to join the club. I appreciate the offer, but I really should get back to cleaning duty. Uh, saying it hurts a little, given the look on her face, but joining a club really isn't my priority right now. Please? I've only met one other person interested in joining, and she doesn't even go to this school. Her eyes are masked with a look of sadness as they stare at her point blank. Saying she looks sad would be easy. Without looking out on her, this point would just make me feel bad. I guess I can. Consider it. That should get her off the case yeah. for now. Try it out? Sure, sure. I guess, sure. From that, her face beams with happiness as her lips curl up into a smile. I can't remember the last time I saw one of a genuine and somehow so cute, almost innocent. I can't say I'm good at science or that I'm keen on it, really. But staying here for a while couldn't hurt. Thank would it? you. I mean, welcome to the club. I couldn't say that I expected this far from it. From the outside, and the little I knew of her, Kikyo didn't seem like the person to get worked up about a stranger joining her club. Even though we're classmates, it's not like we know each other well. However, in a way, her actions are charming. She really doesn't like, uh, she really doesn't seem like a bad anyway, person. Anyway, you were after the cleaning equipment, right? It's not as if I've gotten. Yeah, I should probably get back to that. If you don't mind, I'll come with you. I'm supposed to be on cleaning duty anyway. Oh, so she's the one. She's the one that was supposed to be my class. So she's the one who ran off. I uh, had ran off. I don't know whether this is a coincidence or just sheer karma on her part. Rising from her seat, Kiko too gets ready to join me on our adventure. She rests her lab coat on the nearby desk. The two of us now ready to make our way back to class to finish off the responsibilities handed to us, leave the room. Well, for the most part, the responsibilities handed to me.
As, as we head out to the corridor, I actually bump into a passing student, a girl, about Kikyo's height. Kikyo herself takes a step backwards, almost behind me, as the girl in front now faces me as Iris How about glare. you watch where you're going, will you? Okay, she's stuck up. She's a stuck up one, guys. Inside, I feel like I should be saying that too. Her head turns to face Kikyo, who now has tucked herself away behind me. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Doubting her is back to me. Her expression reverts to the same look as anger <laughs> as before. Oh, she's stuck up. As she walks away down, as she walks away down the corridor, my mind wanders as a feeling of recognition floats without coming to fruition. Bluntly put, I feel as I know who she is. Kikyo sighs behind me, sliding out from the door and taking a step by my side. You know who that was? Nodding beside me, a downcast looks coast. I coast beyond uh, Kikyo's face. Naomi Sato. Okay, it's um, Class three three. Okay, she's added to my encyclopedia as well. You mean the Neo the Naomi Sato? Mm -hmm. I don't really get along with her. No wonder I thought I knew her. In fact, the most guys it'll be a crime not to. Her name gets around a lot. I'm fairly certain her name popped her topped the boys' list of the most attractive girls in the year, and the girls' list too. However, whatever it is, something is clearly going between the her and Kikyo. I can't just ignore that, but perhaps it would be better if not to get myself too involved. Both of them are well known around the school. Kikyo for her intelligence and Nomi for her prior uh, popularity and looks. Uh, anyway, shall we get going to the classroom? Uh, okay. Trying her hardest to uh, regain her enthusiastic enthusiasm, Kikyo trails along the side of me. We continue down the corridor. Me carrying the muffin bucket and her striding along to my side with a now somewhat relaxed expression. Whatever the situation is with Naomi, it's concerning, but getting involved is a different question. A short while later, after mopping the floor to the extent we were both satisfied with, we stand alone in the otherwise empty but clean classroom. I feel as if we accomplished something. Like an experiment. Done well. I wouldn't know how that feels, but maybe now she would attend cleaning duties as she is supposed to. Now that she's here though, I can't bring myself to complain. It was good to finally have company. Are you usually this talkative? Mm -hmm. I ask simply because she seems over energetic cleaning and grumpy, uh, a grubby classroom. Seeing how she had acted earlier, I find it hard to believe that she was around here anyway, especially for someone who doesn't talk much to those around I've... her. Never really had the chance to speak to many people. So, today has been fun. Alright, uh, fair enough. No! Now's the part where you're supposed to give me your number and say a cheesy quote to make me feel better about myself. <laughs> She's asking me out. Kind of. I'm not sure how this would, uh, how the, sorry, sorry, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure how the word works in her mind, but she looks like uh, me quizzingly before resting her arms and Never her mind, but I am going to need your number. You're joining the science club, right? I didn't say I wouldn't. I grab a nearby notebook from a random desk to tear out a sheet of paper, only to scribble my number onto a vast white space. Perhaps I should apply just to whoever's book this is. Somehow, I can't help but feel that Kikyo has been waiting for someone to join the club like this. In a way, thinking about it makes me feel sorry for her. I can only feel bad for not being uh, that interested in science. But at least I can give her moral support as she does. Whatever she does there. There. Done. Kikyo proudly presents her phone to me, showing that she's now added me as a contact. I contact. spelled your name right, haven't I? Oh, I was hoping that I, hope, I was hoping the game would be smart enough to say my name, but it's not. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Yeah, that's right. I'll send you a picture later so you can add me to yours. Is it gonna be a naughty one? You know, a bit of a lewd, a bit of cheek, a bit of skin. I don't think she's the type, but maybe she is. Maybe she's like a like one of those sexy bookworms. She's a wild side to her. She stands before me, 
a smile spread across her face as the evening sunlight tickles through the classroom windows, brushing her cheeks as they glow softly. I guess it's getting pretty late. I guess it's getting pretty late, just twice. Saying my thoughts aloud, uh, Kikyo nods in agreement as we both exit the room, disregarding to put away the cleaning equipment. And that and whatever experiment she was up to beforehand. As we exit the school grounds, Kikyo's soft uh, footsteps ring out faintly amongst our almost silent surroundings, spare the sounds of day-to-day -day life. I guess it shows how long we've been cleaning for. I could swear that we were still uh, club activities are going on when we started. The evening sky blankets up in the spring air and we stand together at the school gate. You're gates. coming to the science club tomorrow, right? Don't forget. It's not like I could uh, after our novel introduction and all the baguette begging involved to rope me in. At the end of the day, maybe something like this would be nice. Maybe I could find some ambition, even if science isn't my strong suit. Don't worry, I'm not going to skip my first club meeting. You meet. make that sound as if you're planning on skipping some, though. For the first time in a while, I laugh. In turn, Kiko's mock frown shifts as a soft but truthful smile. I see you tomorrow, Kiko. I'll be waiting for you. We're classmates after all. I'll see you tomorrow, too. Our paths despite parted by the event departures and now closer together as classmates. I turn to Kiko's uh, figure in the distance, almost silhouetted by the evening sun. Calling in a picturesque wouldn't be far-fetched. I guess I'm a member of a science club now. Do I get an achievement? I was just going to say, do I get an achievement for that? I do. Achievement unlocked. Join the science club. Welcome to Chemically Bounded, guys. Chemically Bonded. I keep saying bounded. Chemically Bonded. <laughs> oh, man. I'm stuffing this up. You were here to join the science club. I'll be skipping training too, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> Chemically ballsy. <laughs> Good one, builders. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. It's brilliant. Oh! There's one for the cowboy. Bit of loot. Bit of loot going on there. Didn't think it was that type of game, guys, but we got a little bit of loot pitches in. Like that. But it's not a loot game. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever streamed a rattle a game that's rude, uh, rude and lewd. It's got a bit of skin, but it's not a lewd game. In other words, it's no naughty words and nothing like that. We we'll leave that for Game Izumi. Okay, so Act 1, welcome to the club. Okay, so what do we do? I just save this baby up. How do I do that? Save. And the blue one there. Back to main menu. Yes, we're. Now let's check out the extras, what we've got. Okay, we've got, we've got one gallery. I was hoping it would be the lewd picture, but we haven't locked that yet. But we've got this picture as our first image in the gallery. And there's the second one. So a little part to which you open the mouth. So each image has probably got like a couple of to it. No more. Okay, so there's Cyclopedia. Let's check this out. Okay, so this is her. This is her uh, Kikyo Ishiwara cover. Uh, birthday's April 2nd. Height's 160 centimeters, five foot three. An aspiring scientist, Kikyo prides herself on her ability to control her emotions, though to use of logic, at least that is she believes. Despite having an overcome emotionally personality, she often makes uh, mistake is the quiet type despite having been having a lot to say. Okay, so we'll go to Naomi. 
Okay, birthday April 9th. Uh, she's 163 centimeters, so she's a little bit taller, five foot four. Uh, Nomi is a girl with plenty of passion, most of which she puts into her attitude. Extremely popular, even though she's of those of the same sex. She isn't afraid of conversation. However, despite her popularity, her social circle is quite limited. She's the captain of the athletics team, and she she isn't having her say over every sporting club in the school. Uh, I'll scroll down real quick, sorry. She'll be considered a tomboy by most outsiders, but those who know her are private, uh, are private to her emotional girlish quirks. Okay, anyone else? Page two. Hold up. Oh, we skipped that. Sorry, my bad. Let's just... Um... Wow, where do we go? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All of them oh, is an element of an atomic number 76 and an atomic mass of 190 to 23. It's a hard and brittle metal in which of the lowest level of abundance in the Earth's crust. Also, I can't even pronounce it, is the densest nat uh, naturally occurring element, hence Kikyo's joke. Fun fact, osmium uh, really forms osmium tetroxide, OSO4, which is highly toxic. Lucky Kikyo knows that. Uh, it's built as atomic mass. Okay, so what else can we look at? Okay, so that's chemically bonded, guys. I got it right that time. Let's, okay, let's go to Marvel's mini indie game review. Uh, so storyline-wise, guys, you play as a male character who's trying to, uh, who's meeting new girls in his school that are basically, their relationship is um, broken up and they're trying to be put back together. And you're forming your own relationship with them. Uh, the game's got multiple endings, uh, different outcomes as well, so you can choose different roads that live to different uh, multiple endings. So it's got a decent storyline, uh, visualizations. It's got some good, some good uh, art, artwork. Um, we've got some lewd images there too, guys. Some uh, girls and brass for those who are keen on that, like the cowboy. Um, everything's nice. Uh, Soundtrack-wise, it's got a decent soundtrack in the background. I've kind of forgot it was really there, so it's doing its job but without being overbearing. Also, big plus, it's got voiceover for. So for the characters that you don't play as, you don't need to read that part because they are going to voice over. So all the characters that you meet have voiceovers, all the parts that you think in your head or say it aloud, you read. So that's good. That's good to have. Um, gameplay wise, I played today on the Xbox Series X. It's a visual novel game, guys. So basically just press one button to scroll forward to bring up the next text. It's easy to read. I didn't find any glitches uh, or uh, bugs. I did have to read one line twice though. But I don't know if that was meant when he said, I'm really, I'm talking this out aloud. So kind of like maybe that was meant. It was right towards the end of the stream part there. Uh, when I was reading, I had, he said it twice. I said that out aloud. I said that out aloud twice. I had to say it. So I don't know if that was meant or it was just a little, like a little port error. Obviously, being this is a Japanese game, they get they port this over to uh, English. Um, and sometimes things get a little bit jumbled. But apart from that, no glitches, no bugs. Everything played perfectly fine. Uh, so overall, on the Marble A Mini Indie Game Review, I'm going to give chemically bonded, not bounded, bonded, a 7 out of 10. It's a decent game, guys. If you're into visual novels, you're going to pick this one up. It's good. If you want to start off on a first visual novel, this one's easy to read. Easy to read the text. Uh, simple words, except for the Japanese names, of course. I uh, always find that hard. Uh, but apart from that, it's a good one. 7 out of 10. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for calling past the latest live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're watching me back on my YouTube channel, as a video replay. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves and ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. Say hi to your dog for me. And remember, you're perfect just the way you are, unless you want to change and change. Just be you, do you, and you'll be fine. Until next time, this has been Rattlelicker Games Presents and P -ha Hound. Thank you for sending me the code. Chemically Bonded, the Xbox Series X. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Ta-ta.